How's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome to a brand new episode of the San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4 Rangers and Padres, your first place Padres at that, in Arlington, Texas, as the Rangers are going to um, start Derek Holland. This is the last game before the All-Star break, as uh, you will see both teams sporting their throwback jerseys haven't done that yet so i thought i would do that and as we start off the game here you see alcides escobar getting a leadoff walk that's always nice to see as uh, holland already giving up a base runner next batter is going to be will myers and he's going to single into right escobar is going to try for three or for third i guess and he'll make it so there's runners on the corners now for matt kemp and he is taking this one into left field left fielder is under it and he'll make the catch, tagging his Escobar, and he will make it. He is safe. So right off the bat, Padres scoring a run early. We have seen that before in the first inning. They do get a lot of runs, as it is now 1-0 Padres. Justin Upton stepping up to the plate. Once you pitch to him with a runner on first, which is Will Myers, and that is a wild pitch. Myers goes around the tag and gets to second. So now he's in scoring position for... Upton and here is the 3-2 pitch now coming and he hits that one right over to second but it's bobbled the recovery is in time but then it's dropped Prince Fielder drops it oh my goodness the defense is not helping out Holland right now check this out the second baseman Odor fields the ball not so cleanly he bobbles it but he still has plenty of time so he throws it over to Fielder should have got Upton out but instead Fielder drops the perfectly fine throw and Upton reaches on first. Runners on the corners now for Will Middlebrooks. He's going to hit this one off the mound. He's going to try to beat the plate of the first. And he does beat it. And the run comes in to score. Oh, my goodness. Padres are up 2 nothing, And that is just some bad defense there by the Rangers. Allowing Will Middlebrooks to get to first. Unfortunately, the rally will end as Tommy Medica, who we don't see often because he's the DH American League action here. He's getting some playing time is retired so we'll move to the bottom half of the first again Padres up to nothing and here are the Rangers so far healthy just like in real life Prince Fielder and Beltre are the ones you gotta look out for as we're gonna send Corey Lupke to the mound and since being brought up to the rotation is a whopping 4-0 with a 293 ERA that's good to see as he is trying to get that to 5-0 bottom one no one on the bases and that is gonna be a leadoff single for Elvis Andrus not what we really wanted to do after scoring two runs, but uh, of course, Lubke will have some time to get out of it. Now, here's the 1-1 pitch to Sinsu Chu, I believe, and that is going to be a double play. So, a nice job there by the defense. Jerko Escobar Alonso, that's what we like to see. And Chu is retired. Two outs now. Try and get out of the inning as Lubke, and it looks like he will as Fielder pops it up just behind the bag at third. Middlebrooks is there, and he makes the catch. So, 2 nothing here going into the second. Hopefully the Padres can add on here as this is, I believe, Jajerko striking out. No, that's Alonzo. I always get mixed up between Jajerko and Alonzo. We're going to have to figure that one out. Mitch Moreland up to the mound, and uh, he doesn't do anything. We're bringing up Justin Upton now. Top of the third, no one on base, and two outs. Upton smacks this one into the gap. That's going to fall. That's going to roll to the wall, and Upton is there at second with a double. So trying to start a little two-out rally here are the Padres, and we'll see if we can do just that as we now have Middlebrooks at the plate, and he is popping this one up just behind short, and that is going to be it for the inning. So we can't really do anything about the uh, Upton double. That's a shame, but um, you know what? Hopefully those runs won't come back to haunt us. And this is Corey Lupke giving up a walk now. Eh, I guess the amount of base runners is a little bit of a concern. It's not too bad as he has two outs now. Trying to get out of the inning and he won't as there is a base hit into right. And now there are runners on first and second for the Rangers. We'll see what they can do now. Lupke in a bit of a jam here. 
Trying to keep it a 2-0 game. Here's the ones who pitch, and it is hit into right. And that is caught by Justin Upton. He is very good at what he does, and he shows it there, helping his pitcher, Corey Lubke, get out of that jam. So it's still 2-0. Padres here at the end of three. We'll jump into the fourth. Well, you will see Tommy Medica up to the plate. No one on. One out. 1-1 one, one pitch is hit into right, but it is a nice diving stop by Odor. And what a play as he retires Medica on the awesome diving stop. I was pretty sure that was going to be a base hit, but he dives, catches it, gets up, throws to first for the out. So a nice job there by Odor getting out Medica. And you can see Holland is definitely uh, appreciating his defender's play after a couple of weird plays at the beginning. So top of the fourth now. Derek Norris, the single up the middle. So that's good to see. He is on first. Odor can't do anything about that. And we are almost in business here. Trying to get him in scoring position now as we will move forward. Holland not too happy about giving up that base runner. Judge Jerko up to the plate. Full count pitch here with the runner on first. Two outs. And he absolutely crushes it. Goodbye. A two-run shot by Jed Jerko. And boy, did he need that. He has been struggling here the last couple of weeks, hitting under 200, I believe. And that will help him get out of a slump as the two-run shot to left is a big one. He scores himself and Norris, and it is 4-0 Padres. They have taken absolute control of this game, and they look to move forward. This is Prince Fielder now in the bottom of the fourth, totally beating the shift on the left side. He is not that fast, but he will make it to second with a double, beating that shift out pretty well. So... Prince Fielder on board, and he is in scoring position. Beltre, the next batter, 2-2 pitch, and he singles up the middle. Will Myers is going to fire home, and they are smart not to send Fielder because that's a very good throw, and they know Fielder, like I said earlier, is not that fast. So runners on the corners now, 3-2 pitch, and we are going to turn a double play. Now that I think about it, we probably should have started it at home instead of at second, but... Um, I guess the bases are empty. We do surrender a run. 4-1 now as Matt Kemp is up to bat in the top of the fifth. Base is empty. One out. And Kemp is hitting that one into right field for a base hit. So he is on base looking to get something going here. Even though we are up by three, it's always nice to add some insurance runs as this is going to be a double play. So that ends the inning. Padres can't get anything going. Still 4-1 here in the bottom of the six. No one on. No one out. 3-2 pitch is hit into left field. And that is going to be a single for the Rangers as they are just doing everything they can here to get runners in scoring position as Sin Su Chu gets the hit there. 3-2 pitch now to the next batter, Prince Fielder. That's a bit inside. Luke Key uh, struggling a little bit with his locations as Fielder is now on first. Bell trap to bat, and he is hitting this one in the gap. And that is not good news for the Padres. One run, Chu is in. Fielder is on his way home. And that throw in is good. It is in time, but Fielder somehow goes around the tag. And as a result, they score two runs. Corey Lukey not looking too good. We'll visit him on the mound as the reliever is still warming up in the bullpen. We're going to try to send Lukey out and see if he can finish the job. And it looks like he will with a routine fly out to left. But Upton misplays it, and that will score a run for the Rangers. Wow, Justin Upton usually so dependable and reliable in left field, misplays the ball, and as a result, the game is tied up at four, and that's going to do it for Corey Lupke's night. Uh, the first part was his fault, that last part wasn't, so we're going to have to bring in Kevin Quackenbush to see if he can get things straightened out for the Padres as the game is tied up at four with a runner in scoring position, 0-2 pitch now, and ring him up there with a low changeup. And uh, Quackenbush looking good to start things off. Runner advances to third now with two outs, 2-2 two -two pitch coming, and that is a strikeout. So he will keep this game tied up at four, which is a good thing as the ending comes to an end. But still, we're up 4 nothing, and all of a sudden, the game has turned around. The Rangers have control. We'll move now to the next inning. Despagne is coming up in here. ERA a little bit high. Bottom seven, base is empty, and that is a shot to left. Oops. Yeah, that's gone, and this game belongs to the Rangers. They take the 5-4 lead with one swing of the bat. As that is Day Shields, a player that is hitting ninth, I believe, on their lineup. Nothing happens in the seventh, eighth, 
innings, and we'll move to the ninth. This is the last hope for the Padres as Alonzo is going to come in here. And, yeah, he's not doing anything there. Will Venable trying to get something going. He's a pinch hitter. Down by one. One out. Base is empty. He hits this one up the middle, but it's a nice play there at second with the catch. So one out to go here for the Rangers. If they can complete this mini comeback. Derek Norris up to bat. He pops it up to right. Playable. Game over. So what looked to be like an easy victory for the Padres turns into an absolute nightmare. The Rangers come back, tie the game up, and then a shot by DeShields in the 7th. Makes it a 5-4 game. He is your player of the game, and that is disappointing as your first place Padres are not able to close out the game. So an important lesson learned today, it ain't over till it's over. That's the game, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Texas wins this one 5-4. Stay tuned for more Road to the Show and Franchise. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Peace. Yeah.